I'm Ken Nelson with the Tactical Performance Center, here with an important message about your support hand. It's not there to help you steady the gun. It's there to help you implement the three purposes of the grip. Now back to steadying the gun. Look, the most accurate shooters with handgun in the world are Olympic shooters, and they're doing it with one hand. Okay. So we don't need the other hand to steady the gun. We need its help implementing the purposes of the grip better. Those purposes are, if you recall from our other videos, minimize the travel that you're getting during muzzle flip, provide for consistent return to sight alignment after the shot, and the third is to provide sight alignment by feel. If you recall from our other videos, that's the concept of holding the gun through stiffened wrist at the angle that you aim it. The minute I touch the gun, it's at that angle. It helps us get the sight alignment done instantly so that it's there, we can confirm it very quickly and shoot. So what is the biggest problem I see with students in terms of how they're using the support hand to help implement the three purposes of the grip? The number one problem is that they're actually using it to support the gun rather than to add forces that'll help manage or reduce the travel and provide a spring or forces that will provide for consistent sight alignment or return to sight alignment. So we're all familiar with this infamous teacup, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot this, right? And everybody, I think in the modern world, we recognize that that's not a particularly effective way to shoot a handgun. But what happens if you're doing that, but it doesn't look like a teacup? It looks like this, okay? It's fundamentally the same. It's just there and it's just kind of connected. It's a little bit better in that we got some friction there to hold on to the gun with, but it's not really using the support hand to the full extent that it could. Here's a way to tell if you're doing it. Go ahead and build your, your, your grip, and now just doing nothing with your support hand, just take it off the gun. Would you throw a punch this way? Go ahead and try it. I don't throw a punch this way. I throw a punch this way. Okay? So if the job of support hand is to help deliver energy into the gun to help it um, minimize the travel and to build a spring and forces that return at the side alignment, then doing that isn't being very effective, okay? So what I look for with students is we build the grip, right? Take our hand off and look at that. It's how I throw a punch. Give it a try next time you're at the range. I bet you the gun's gonna feel different. I bet you that it's not gonna go high left. I also bet that your hand, your support hand, probably won't slip off, or if it does, not as uh, soon in the number of shots that you're shooting. If you like this video, share it with somebody. And if you're on YouTube, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell button so that you uh, are notified of all of our content. I'm Ken Nelson. I'll see you on the range.